Hello and welcome back to another fun video. Um, once again, browsing Facebook Marketplace, I stumbled upon a great deal for the Sony uh, Mavic Air FD5 uh, camera. Um, I used one of these at primary school and I'm sure uh, many people use them around the place as well. But yeah, I figured I'd pick it up and see what it's like. Um, I have the uh, FD5, which is one of the very first um, if Mavic is to use the floppy disk format, and they ceased in 2002 there. The CCD is basically the guts of a Sony Handycam, I'm not too sure which model, and it outputs a NTSC uh, video picture. The uh, marketing for the camera was quite good, um, boasting basically ease of use, no cables, no mess basically. Um, and the camera was quite well regarded actually, um, it was basically easy use, um, pretty cost affordable and media was cheap for it. Um, pricing here you can see um, for the FD5 was $1059 Australian, so that would have been 800 bucks US in 97, $1282 in 2021, uh, you can see there with the inflation calculator. Uh, mine came in this jazzy fake leather bag which looks like it's been dumped under a toilet stool. Um, but yeah, inside the camera, uh, or the bag, sorry, was the camera. And um, conveniently the uh, quick starter user's guide which I was not expecting. The guide itself is pretty basic, covers um, use of operations. Um, don't throw it on the ground, don't throw it on your face, don't throw it on the water um, but yeah it's pretty simple to use and um, where that was stuffed was the placement for where you keep your floppy disks um, the ergonomics of this are not very great you're kind of clawing at the uh, disks there to get them out because they're in deep um, so yeah looking around the camera itself uh, this one is actually in very good condition it shows very little wear around the edges um, especially around the uh, screen bezel here. Uh, there's very few buttons on it. This is the model that does not do video, but um, that was pretty much limited to five seconds of really janky looking video. But yeah, I'm very pleased with the overall condition of it. It just needed a wee clean, uh, nothing serious, thankfully. Flipping the unit around, um, I've got uh, serial number 5149 there. Uh, and the batteries are the same as what you get on any sort of handy cam from the 90s or early 2000s, the Info Lithium variety. Um, you've got a flash on the front, a macro lens uh, switch or toggle switch. Um, around the back it's pretty much your brightness controls and your joystick for the, for the camera itself. Well once you've got some photos it's so easy, you just put the disc in your computer and this is a vanilla build of Windows 98, so it's sort of straight away you've got access to your photos, copy them off, you've got your disk empty ready to reuse, and um, yeah, natively because they're in JPEG format, um, you can just open them up, them up in Internet Explorer or um, whatever other photo viewing software you, you had at the time. So extremely easy to work with. I can see why these things were actually really popular just from a price point, easy use. Uh, you didn't have to have any funky cables or software to make them work, so nice to see. So primarily I shoot on a Fujifilm X-T30. Um, this is also what I use to record all my YouTube videos with. It's a great little mirrorless camera, so I figured what we'd do is we'd take it into town and um, also around um, near my house and take some photos but uh, I figured I might just replace that CR2025 because it was dead flat um, just to keep the date and time on the photos or timestamps uh, it's pretty easy you just set the date and time through there uh, but yeah once that was all done um, yeah we I took it into town and it was quite funny taking photos with a big chunky camera but yeah, enjoy some of the photos and um, you can have a fun comparison compared to a newer camera.
Yeah, definitely getting 90s Queenstown vibes here. It reminds me of uh, what it was like as a kid. <laughs> But um, yeah, the thumbnails on the computer look really good because the um, resolution of the images are quite small, so they look quite good in small image, you know, small like that. But um, this is what it looks like natively, uh, and then you blow it up using some sort of AI enlarger. Uh, but yeah, the camera itself is really fun to use. Um, I really enjoyed taking it out um, and having to go with it. It was great fun. The uh, lack of a viewfinder did. Um, make it a bit more challenging to get your photos framed properly um, and the zoom on the lens um, because it's a fixed lens um, made it quite hard to shoot with but um, when you're taking photos of objects it's perfect if you're doing detailed things like landscapes it can get a bit hairy but yeah other than that it was really cool to to get it out and about uh, but yeah anyway that's it I um, hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching do all the YouTubey things and uh, catch you guys soon